हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी सो डियर स्टूडेंट एज यू कैन सी वी आर स्टडिंग फ्रेजेस एंड इट्स काइंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टॉट यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फ्रेज एंड इट्स काइंड ओके डियर आई हैव टोल्ड यू that uh, phrases how to find out and uh, types so in the previous video we have discussed noun phrase and today we will continue from adjective phrase okay so without wasting time let's see what is adjective phrase and uh, how to find out an adjective phrase okay so let's see a phrase that functions as an adjective is called adjective phrase it modifies a noun or a pronoun okay dear so as you can see an adjective phrase is the phrase that function that works as a adjective in the sentence okay dear like adjective adjective phrase also modifies a noun or a pronoun okay let's see it with example i have mentioned here some example my brother sorry my mother gave me a ring made of gold okay my mother gave me a ring made of gold so dear student you can see the highlighted word ring made of gold okay you can see the word made of gold i have underlined the wrong words so okay dear you have to underline the word made of gold okay so my mother gave a ring that is made of gold so what kind of ring my mother gave so we can say that is made of gold so this the word made of gold modify the word ring okay and ring is a noun okay dear now see second example the boy was wearing a dark brown suit okay what kind of suit a dark brown suit okay so a dark brown this is a group of word and you know group of word is called phrase and uh, here the word a dark brown okay modify the noun suit yes u i t suit okay dear so that is why here this group of word is called adjective phrase okay okay you can see here i have mentioned a point here adjective phrase always gives answer of what kind of what kind of suppose that you want to find out adjective class so dear the group of words that give the answer of what kind of that group of words is called adjective phrase okay now see function of adjective phrase function of adjective phrase so let's see what are the function of adjective phrase so we can see there are two function of adjective phrase especially so first one an adjective phrase can be used before a noun okay in the attributive position suppose that student we have a noun and when any adjective phrase comes before the noun that position of adjective phrase is called attributive position okay so an adjective phrase can come before the noun okay let's see with example 
a blind boy came to my office so in that sentence a blind boy this is a adjective phrase and you can see boy is a noun and just before noun we use the word a blind and this is a adjective phrase and it modify the noun boy okay dear what kind of boy came to my office so we will get answer a blind boy okay dear so this is a noun adjective phrase now see the point number second an adjective phrase can also come in the predicative position now the question is that what is predicative position so student when an adjective came after the verb or noun after the verb or noun okay so in that case the position of adjective is known as a predicative position okay dear once again i am repeating when any phrase any adjective phrase comes after the verb or sub noun okay so in that case that position of adjective phrase is called predicative position you can understand it with example the cake looks very tempting so in that sentence looks is a verb and you can see what kind of cake the cake is very tempting so the word very tempting modify the noun cake okay it modifies the noun cake and you know a group of words that modify a noun a pronoun is called adjective phrase so here very tempting this is a adjective phrase and if we talk about its position so we can see here it is used as the predicative position okay dear so i hope you have learned very well about the adjective phrase now see further adverb phrase okay dear let's study what is adverb phrase a phrase that plays the role of an adverb is called an adverb phrase so dear i hope you have got the definition of adverb phrase a phrase that function that performs the role of an adverb in the sentence the phrase is called adverb phrase okay dear okay let's see example he slept like a boy so the highlighted word like a boy this is a group of words and you know group of words known as phrase and here it modify the verb sleep like a baby like a baby the word like a baby modify the word sleep so this is a adverb phrase now see the second example after the game we had burgers and calls so here after the game this is a adverb phrase okay next example you could park your car under the tree so under the tree that is a adverb phrase okay dear so you know if you know adverb then you can identify adverb phrase also okay what are adverb adverb modifies a verb okay adjective okay and adverb itself and uh, adverb phrase always give the answer of why when how and uh, where is that clear all the phrases that give the answer of why when how and where those phrases will known as a adverb phrase so remember these four words if you want to find out adverb phrase then just ask the question with the help of these words okay and when you got the reply the words of group known as a adverb phrase okay you can see 
let's see the forms of adverb phrase an adverb phrase consists of two adverbs so here an adverb phrase can be two adverb she walked very quickly so the highlighted word very quickly just ask question she walked how she walked how so we will get very quickly so the word very quickly that is a adverb phrase okay and you know the group of word that give the answer of how when where and why known as adverb phrase okay dear so here very and quickly both are the adverb now see the second example she made lunch really fast okay how she made the lunch really fast so the word really fast that is the adverb phrase and both are the adverb really is also adverb and fast is also adverb okay now see second point consist of a preposition a noun and some words that modifies the noun so an adverb phrase can be consist of a preposition okay let's see he bought some loaves from the shop at the corner okay where she bought the loaves at the corner so that underlined word is known as a adverb phrase now see the cat slept between the pillows the cat slept where so we will get answer between the pillows so between the pillows that is a adverb phrase okay dear and you can see between is the preposition it is the preposition so a uh, an adverb phrase can be consisted of a noun and a preposition so pillow is a noun and between is a preposition now see the function of adverb phrase okay function of adverb phrase an adverb phrase tells us the time of action okay dear so adverb phrase tells us the time of action and in that case it give the answer of when okay you can see the example in late november i planted some orchid bulbs when i planted some orchid bulbs in late november so it give answer of when okay so that is a adverb phrase of time i will meet you at the library at 3 o'clock when i will meet you at 3 o'clock so this is the adverb phrase and uh, what types of adverb phrase adverb phrase of time okay now see the next one an adverb phrase tells us where an action happens okay dear so in that case adverb play, uh, adverb phrase give the answer of where and that types of adverb phrase is known as a adverb phrase of place okay this is the answer he works in a hardware shop where he works so you will get answer in a hardware shop so that is a adverb phrase of place now see more, next example i will meet you at library where i will meet you so you will get answer at library so this is the adverb phrase of place okay dear now see the next point an adverb phrase tells us how an action happens okay so adverb phrase also tells us in what way in what way any action have been done so let's see example she walked on the wet floor very carefully in in what way she walks very carefully so here we can say very carefully is the an adverb phrase okay an adverb phrase of manner she spoke in a polite manner in what way she he spoke in polite manner so in polite manner this is a adverb phrase of manner okay dear so i hope you have got about the adverb phrase very well now see verb phrase what is verb phrase 
a phrase that consists of a helping verb and a main verb is called a verb phrase okay student a phrase that consists of a helping verb and main verb that is called verb phrase okay you can see example he is writing a letter so in that sentence this is helping verb and writing writing okay main verb and both is writing that is the combination of verb and helping verb so combination of verb and helping verb is known as a verb phrase so highlighted word is writing this is a verb phrase okay dear you can see one more example everybody was watching the match so combination of helping verb and main verb is called to verb phrase okay it's called to verb phrase so in that sentence in that sentence was that is helping verb and watching that is a main verb so was watching that is a verb phrase okay now see the forms a verb phrase consists of a helping verb is mr and and main verb okay in continuous form so you can see they are working hard so are working that is a verb phrase she is singing beautifully is singing that is a adverb uh, sorry verb phrase let's see one more consist of a verb helping verb has have had and main verb so in the past participle form so verb phrase can be in the form of the past participle form also so you can see he has completed the task in that sentence has is the helping verb and completed completed sorry student completed that is the main verb so helping verb and main verb that uh, that so the participle uh, past participle okay that is the verb phrase you can also see one more example they had prepared a lavish dinner for us so had prepared that is a verb phrase okay dear next point consist of a helping verb have has had plus been and main verb so you can see this structure also in the verb phrase he has been working on the project since monday so this highlighted word that is a verb phrase now see the last point consist of a model and main verb a verb phrase can be the combination of a modal verb and a main verb okay you can see example they will come soon so here will is the helping sorry modal verb and come is the main verb so that is a verb phrase you should obey your teachers so should is a modal verb and obey is the main verb so should obey this is the verb phrase okay dear so i hope you have got these all points very well so students you have to note down these all points in your fair copy and uh, revise the topic very well okay students till then watch the video and enjoy